It can tell you a lot about a person who he keeps company with. And yesterday, he was hosting at his club, Victor Orban, who says he doesn't think democracy works. Call him a fantastic leader. Seriously. He's been sucking up to win him. <laughs> anyway. The wannabell dictators and authoritarian thugs all around the world. He said the North Korean dictator, Kim Jong-un, wrote him a, quote, wrote him a beautiful letter. He bragged about calling Xi Jinping a king. He called Putin, and he said, do whatever the hell you want to our allies. I'm not making these, I'm not making these quotes up. When he says he wants to be a dictator, I believe him. Two nights ago, we all heard Crooked Joe's angry, dark, hate-filled rant of a State of the Union address. Wasn't it? Didn't it bring us together? Remember, he said, I'm going to bring the country to, 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 together. I'm going to bring it together. No, no. He's a threat to democracy. I will tell you, he's a threat to democracy. Weaponized government, weaponized the FBI, weaponized the DOJ. He's a threat to democracy for other reasons also. Number one, he's grossly incompetent. Joe Biden gave the most divisive, partisan, radical, and extreme speech ever delivered by a president in that chamber, not even close. When you think of it, inflation wouldn't have happened. The attack on Israel wouldn't have happened. The attack on, on Ukraine with Russia, Russia, Ukraine, would have never happened. Everything Joe Biden touches turns to shit. Everything.